Welcome back to Stone Age Videos. In this episode, we'll be cleaning the parts of the BCSs that we took apart in the first part of this series. So, they've been soaking in totally awesome for a couple hours now. So, a big chunk should fall right out. Let's have a look-see. Got to keep it from evaporating because all these parts would get this film on them right at the surface here if it evaporates off and the film is really hard to get off. So don't let them soak too long and uh, tap them if you think they'll get away from you. All right, let's start with the body here. Don't remember which one this was, but it looks, they all look a whole lot better. All right, so let's have a look, see what's going on inside. And we'll be using this uh, square tip stiff bristle brush came out of a spray gun solutions cleaning kit that I got years ago. You can also find something that looks like this called a stipple brush or a stencil brush at um, let's say discounted art supply stores. Don't buy a good one because you're going to abuse it. So we'll start with one of these and see what we can get out from inside the body. So I like to uh, keep a little tub of water handy, so when they come out of the Totally Awesome, they go into the water, and that rinses all that stuff off. So we'll just keep working with Totally Awesome here. So now I'm using this big swab out of the uh, Alpha Abrasives Airbrush Cleaning Kit to clean in the back of the airbrush. And that looks not so bad. We're going to push it down into where the needle packing is and see what we pull out of there. If it's not bad, we won't have to pull it out. Let's have a look. So it's been soaking, so I should be able to get this out real easy. I'll get the 1.4 millimeter um, needle packing screwdriver out of my WADA uh, Pro Maintenance Toolkit. And yep, that right into the slots. We're unscrewing the needle packing right now. And um, there we go. Yep. So let's get that all cleaned off. We'll use uh, some of the old totally awesome here. Scrub that off. Get those nice and clean. And then we'll go back into the body of the airbrush with the cotton swab. Rinse that off. Drop it in the cleaner or in the water. And now we'll go back in after the body of the airbrush. So we'll go ahead and use this one again. Give it a couple of turns and pop that out. We should be able to look down the airbrush. I don't know if you can see that. To uh, get that nice clean circle, walking all the way down into the um, front end where the nozzle goes. Gonna scrub off the threads. It's looking pretty good. Looks like most of the big chunks have fallen off. Body looks nice and clean. Let's make sure we're clean down here into the stem where the uh, bottle goes. And for this, I'm going to take one of the uh, non-shredding pipe cleaners out of Iwata's cleaning kit, fold it over once to increase its diameter, and clean that out in there. Since I pulled the air, whoa, there's a lot of paint in there. So what we'll do now is get our set of cleaning brushes that I seem to have put somewhere else and clean out the body behind the needle packing. Here we go. Stone Age videos at their best. So, get this in. We're going to go down into the channel where the needle passes to get up to this chamber where the paint comes in. Yeah, there's a bit of paint in there, a bit of makeup, a bit of paint, a bit of color. Let's 
scrub that out. I did take the air valve out, so I'm not hesitant to soak this. Take that body out once. Oh, there's a bit of crud. We'll engage one of my other favorite tools. This is the Zeron uh, dispenser bottle with a uh, capillary tube. And I can use this to rinse out all the internals of the airbrush and get all the crud out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Nice clean shiny metal. Take the next body. This is one of the ones that's a little more cruddy. So, get our brush, scrub this off. One more totally awesome. And you can see the difference in the color here. So, it's dissolved quite a bit of it. There's probably chunks on the bottom, bottom of the container. off. Um, a lot of times people will clean everything from here forward and they forget about that channel that the needle passes through to get to the needle packing. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the needle packing on this one because I'm thinking it's pretty cruddy inside with all that makeup that was on the body. So we'll get another applicator, another Long handle Q tip, get down inside. Scrub that out, and no, that's not as bad as I was expecting. But it's okay. Let's see if we can get that packing out. Same diameter, 1.4 millimeter for an eclipse. There we go. Hope you saw it set into the slots in the needle packing, and we'll just back it right out. Go oh, and yeah, that's got some crud on it too. We'll leave it on there this time, it's easier to hold. Scrub that off. And drop it in the water. Okay. Good paper towels. Buy high quality paper towels. We're going to be using these to clean out the nozzles and you don't want cheap ones that are going to leave fibers behind. Okay. Scrub the body out a little bit more. See what we can get out of that. Q-tips will work for this too. Twist them down a little harder so they don't leave anything behind. Alright, let's get our cleaning brush. Just rinse it out a little more. Totally awesome. Through our dispensing bottle. color. There we go. Wow, a bit of accumulation. So I was expecting that because the stem on the bottle connector here was in pretty bad shape. Let's uh, send up some more pipe cleaner to take care of that. And yep, there we go. Oh, there's a chunk. That's what Totally Awesome does best. It's a surfactant, so it's going to get between the paint and the 
and the body or in the metal parts and big chunks come out pretty good let's uh creep up a little more on this pipe cleaner and do it again okay not bad let's take one more all the way in from the front this time it's not going to go into that channel because it's too big but we can clean that out oh, it went in a little ways okay let's do it again that's much better lift it out and into the water. One more. Oh, it's got a handle this time. See what I mean? So we will take yet another swab. And this time I'm going to clean out the inside of the handle. As a lot of times paint gets back in there. And it's not going to affect the operation at all, but I want everything nice and clean. That's not bad at all. Scrub off the threads on the handle just in case there is some color in there too. I uh, got a neoprene body o ring here. The uh, totally awesome, doesn't affect them at all. Nice and clean into the bath. 